Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so you know every single time that I post. If you're interested in a reading, my information will be in the about section. And also, if you are interested in extensive reads to Virgo, then be sure to click that join button. Alright? So, this message will be for Virgo during the period of August, 3rd, August 14th to the 16th. Alright? Because I've already done 12, 13. And that's why I'm doing 14 to the 16th. Let's see here. Messages for Virgo. Okay, so we have diligence. There's a lack of diligence. Okay, somebody's not putting effort or movement into something. But you still remain happy. Even though somebody doesn't do what they're supposed to do, you're still doing what you need to do. Okay, you're still happy. Or you feel like you don't have to be diligent to be happy you could just be still and be happy okay you're using this time for stillness to forgive or forgiving yourself you may be closed off to taking risk or you might need need not to take a risk okay there is a lack of opportunity somewhere here for whatever reason There is a blockage. Okay, so we have the six of pentacles in reverse. So there is not an equal give and take for something to be successful. So somebody is failing or has underachieved, okay, moving forward or going for something that they have this um, ambitious spirit to, to go towards. But I feel like something will be um, moving quickly. Okay, something will be moving quickly. It has something to do with the truth or somebody being blunt or cynical or whatever this is. Aquarius, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries, Leo, Sag could be significant. Okay, so the Fool card is in the upright. You definitely want to, you know, be adventurous, but something is not successful. Something, somebody here is not making moves to do what they say they're set out to do. But there's going to be a swift change. Look, the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Something is going to change drastically. Okay, it looks like it was destined to change because there was too much uh, competition there was somebody here that may have been trying to attack you and you being mobile, but you didn't you couldn't picture this person doing this. They could have been a fire sign. I don't know why you swearing for somebody, why you didn't think somebody was capable of doing this. They're a snake. Six of swords. This is somebody you could have walked away from or had a disagreement with. This could be a lover a person you dated briefly or you're dealing with somebody used some sort of distraction to disrupt what was going on but now they won't be able to interfere okay somebody could be seeing the numbers 82 or 28 somebody could be born 1982 or be 28 years old or maybe something is coming into being completed okay because 8 plus 2 is 10 and 10 is the highest number in tarot yeah Somebody's trying to keep you from being able to profit off, have opportunity, or gain something. Somebody is not able to gain wealth. Somebody is doing this. What's going on in Virgo's um, finances or career? 
what's going on in somebody's finances or career, Virgo. Okay, so there is a change. There's a change for the better that's coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. Sometimes to see change, you must be the change. Okay? We have caution at the bottom of the deck. Use caution when making financial decisions. Careful not to overspend on wants instead of needs. More is going out than coming in, and you are being given angelic help. This is the time to trust in the universe and know that you will be provided for. There is a career or blessing that's lining up for you, so stay positive and believe. Pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time. All right? There's going to be a, a, a swift change that brings in exactly what you thought wasn't going to come in for you. I'm going to try to pick up why this um, Six of Pentacles is showing up. Somebody here wants you to look like a fool. Okay, standing there waiting for something. But somebody's going to be fooled from what they thought you wouldn't have to balance out your life. We have Hermit. So there is a Virgo or somebody with multiple placements of Virgo in their chart that may may be going through um, solitude to search for um, introspective knowledge. Okay, somebody could be in fear of change, which is why you're not making moves to be diligent. Okay, I do see a creative spark or initiative or some sort of um, energy towards new passion, inspiration, or enthusiasm. But I do feel like somebody's beating themselves up or somebody could be discouraging you or this could be your own mindset. Somebody feels like it's too much of a responsibility or burden to do something. So that's why you keep allowing yourself to go through missed opportunities. Somebody's allowing fear to do this to them where you miss out on your own um, success. It's like you want to be seen, but you want to be hidden at the same time. You can't do that. You won't be able to gain anything by being hidden. Okay? You are a behind-the-scenes type of person. Somebody's going through some sort of, like, struggle with themselves to, to get something done even though they want it. But how do they do that without showing up? That's what I'm picking up here. It's all over this reading. It's confirmation. Let's see here. Tell me more. Message for Virgo. 14th to the 16th here. Alright, so we do have judication number 30. So somebody here could have a legal situation or, or there's a judgment, a, a decision that has been made. Okay, somebody could have 30 days. Okay. 30 days or less, okay? It looks like you have um, matured. You've shown that you are able to handle something, which is why you're coming into some type of sudden wealth, okay? There is a um, there is a man that may have matured or, or th this, this person has masculine energy that will be receiving some type of sudden wealth. Yeah, somebody will be the privileged woman soon enough, okay? Let's see here. Somebody could be seen 5-11 or 11 5 on the clock. Or this could be a date, time, or whatever this is. Years, months, weeks. Let's see. I'm also seeing this as a fraction. 5 out of 11. Or 11 over 5. Something could be improper. Okay, or maybe somebody will be um, retroactively paid or something like that for some sort of like delay. Okay, somebody you're no longer craving, aching, or longing for is sending you mixed signals when it comes to a second chance here, Virgo. Okay, it looks like you are not allowing somebody to put you in a fantasy. If it ain't real life, you're not doing it. You're not wasting your time here. Okay. What's the message? Messages 
from a Virgo. So it looks like you're releasing some sort of drama, argument, or anything that may not allow you to be um, on the positive side of, of life, okay? Somebody here could be going through like highs and lows of emotions, worry, or fear, okay? But all you need to do is smell the roses, take time to slow down, or get out in nature. Somebody here needs to get out in nature, okay, to um, lessen the chances of chaos coming into your life. Okay, somebody is definitely hoping or wishing for something that they don't have or that they don't have the opportunity to try to, to get. I'm hearing opt. Somebody is trying to opt out or opt into something. I'm not sure, okay? I'm hearing somebody refer to a person as she, she. So this could be like a pet name or a street name or something like that. Uh, we have blind and reverse. So somebody is no longer um, blind to, to the unknown or something that may have once been awkward that now it's like you're comfortable with. Or somebody here could be um, solving an issue to some type of vision problems or whatever this is. It's like you now see uh, how things unfold or how they developed. And it looks like you, you've, you've gained yourself... A, a third, somebody that's a third wheel that is um, that is distrustful, okay? You need to awaken to who you're trusting, all right? Somebody needed you around to boost their self-esteem or to become a boss or somebody that is an assistant manager of some sort, okay? Somebody could be the landlord to a property or manages some type of property or whatever this is. Or somebody uses ego to, to gain wealth or invest or whatever this is here. I feel like somebody could be getting readings or watching them or learning it. Or this is somebody here that um, is going through a destined situation. Somebody here is destined to be concerned about how you uh, progress in life, what your journey is like. Okay, Virgo. The number nine could be significant. Message for Virgo. What is it that you need to know? All right, so we do have happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focused. So somebody here is focusing on the things that matter in their life, and that is by being happily single, where you don't have any other distractions around you. I feel like there is a false feminine that is, is dating or a part of some sort of romance but they're wasting their time with this person message for virgo 14 to the 16th here we have four leaf clover so there's great good fortune that's showing up for you we have this key somebody needs to check on their finances here because you might have somebody that that may meet their target or wants to target you that you're protected from you're protected by a power from a powerful friend okay you have your spiritual team that is protecting you from some sort of harm somebody wants to target you but through your your financials your at your assets or whatever this is here what you're about to receive or inherit okay so somebody that apologized for their bad behavior but hasn't changed is in your energy right now message for virgo yeah, this is somebody that um, may be a shapeshifter or human chameleon. You're trying to figure out who they are really or you're using your discernment to find out what their intentions are. Somebody is was uh, sent to uh, cock block or use jealousy and envious energies to try to have what you have. They're also making careless mistakes that affects them long term. And they are trying to hustle and get one over another. So you're not somebody's only victim. They're doing this to other people too. 
okay? And they may have access to people that you claim are your friends that are in groups sitting down discussing you, okay? You have people that are discussing you with a person that you may be, you may have been involved with in your recent past or right now currently. The other half, you're happily single and doing your own thing away from this person. Somebody can't stand that you walked away or you had the power to control your life. Okay, yeah, I'm telling you, moving on and rest and rejuvenate. We have sacral chakra, so you don't have any sexual desires or emotions for this person that somebody was hoping for. Okay, you gave that all to the universe and now they're aware of what's going on and so are you. That these are just memories. Somebody wants these memories to unfold to where they they kind of um, play a role in how you do something. But you stood your ground and you became the victor. You have victory and success here. Somebody could be seeing 604. Um, somebody could be born 1964 or, or something is done. Somebody could be seeing 1010. 10. 6 plus 4 is 10 here. Somebody is over it. Somebody has completed some sort of cycle to move forward. Who are these haters in the background? What are they doing? Somebody here could be doing root work on you. Someone needs to seek a person to help them with a protection spell from root work. Look, you're divinely protected by your spiritual team. They got your back on this one here. Somebody's posting things directed towards you instead of coming to you directly. They'll claim that they did something first knowing that while well, they got inspired by you. Your significant other is sending you negativity. Even if this is, um, I don't know why I'm hearing superficial. Stealing your ideas, pretending that they invented them. So somebody's trying to make you out to be the copycat when they're the ones that are interjecting themselves and spying on whatever it is that you're doing to make it look like they are the originator, okay? Let's see here. All right, so we have the portal door 1010, leaving a past situation behind and onto a new beginning, okay? Because somebody uh, slept on you, okay? This is somebody you may have had a casual connection or relationship or a one night stand with. We have not taken BS from anybody, okay? So you've grown a backbone or you found that bone that needed to be strengthened, okay? Somebody here could be in a lesbian relationship but keeping it on the low. Yeah, somebody's fr afraid of the unknown here. What's the message? For Virgo, 14th to 16th of August. Okay, so no more controlling, no more toxicity, and no more manipulation. You've released this person that may have been doing this to you or any manipulation that has been able to inflict these things on your life. You're releasing them. Yeah, that has slowed down. Whoever this person is that's making plans to come forward, it has slowed down or somebody is backing up on whatever this is because they won't be able to manipulate you. Okay, but they do want to apologize or somebody wants an apology, okay, for putting a person in a third party situation to cause them negative energy, manipulation, or be narcissistic. Let's see here. Tell me more. Message for Virgo, August 14th to the 16th. So you have had or been a part of a karmic relationship Okay, you could have resented the person for allowing you to be triggered because of the karmic lessons you had to learn, but you're, you've also moved past this person by letting go and loving you and pouring into you a little bit more. I feel like something here may not be stable or you don't feel secure in something, and that is because of this separation. You're needing to get used to the separation so that you won't be hurt. You are also um, removing yourself from this person trying to talk to you, call you, um, or, or whatever this is. 
Let's see, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Message for Virgo. Okay, so the only card that's popping up is Epiphany. So somebody is going through a breakthrough. You're, you're finally figuring out that you needed to ghost block or cut somebody off that may have um, put you in this period of um, no contact or, or has been silent. You realize that you had to do the same with them, okay? You see, somebody doesn't like what's being done to them through them doing it to you. And it's not fair. How is it fair that you're allowed to do something to somebody, but they can't do it to you? It's it's weird. It's it's giving manipulation. That's what I'm picking up here. Well, wanting things to be one-sided. We have distance, retreat, or time out. So maybe you're taking time out to really put things into perspective. I feel like some of you are going to deactivate or um, go go live less or be on the internet less or, or whatever this is. You could be taking yourself from social media or pulling the plug from something here. We have expression, truth. Um, I do feel like there is something that's going to come to light or be exposed, but somebody does not want you to put power behind whatever you're exposing. Somebody wants you to fear or be afraid of karmic, um, karmics coming after you or a karmic family coming after you because you are speaking up on some type of truth. Okay, it looks like there's going to be a meeting for two or more people to discuss something or they're planning something so that you will be locked away, whether that's um, spiritually, physically, or, or whatever this is. Somebody trying to take something that belongs to you. I do see here the Ace of Cups. Okay, somebody is going to try to get into your energy by um, being a romantic partner or suitor. Um, somebody that you're going to come into dating so that they can... Um, take you or, or something that you care about okay it has something to do with finances all right let's see holy spirit divine okay so we have positive spiritual alignment so you are spiritually aligning the way that you're needing to you've already gone through certain stages of your spiritual path that says that, that you're done okay you've closed that door and it looks like somebody here wants to come towards you to to make something better or to to grow spiritually they want help to do this just like you had to figure it out they got to do the same thing Somebody might have overheard a conversation or is eavesdropping. This could be multiple people. Okay, this could be masculine energies or people that are masculines. Somebody's searching for a reason to start a fight and you need to ignore or call something off. Okay, somebody is mad that you're a saint or a, an earth angel and that you're favored amongst the most high. And that's what keeps somebody angry is because you're favored. Let's see here. Tell me more for Virgo, August 14th to the 16th. Okay, so we have thorough. So it looks like there's something um, that's coming to the forefront about details or, or um, something that may have been hidden about a potential lover or something like that. Somebody here could have had the idea to go to a, um, a voodoo witch or, or somebody that does voodoo or navigates through certain things to find out information. Yeah, somebody's trying to find out information about your energy, your vibe, or who's been around you, or what you're up to, so that a secret could be revealed. Okay, we have eight days. Okay, something about eight days is going to have you in good standing, or your alibi is going to check out here. All right? Anyway... Virgo, that's what I have here for the next few days. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.